This time we give the microphone to Bishop John. I want to make sure I get the last word, so I'm going to do the last blessing. I was just thinking, you know, where does he get all the energy? And the words came FPL. Not Florida Power and Light, some of you may think, but truly faith, prayer, and love. There's no two ways about it. When I was growing up, the Bluets meant something to not just my family, but everybody in Limerick. Having five sons become priests. It truly is a sign of faith, prayer, and love. And John, you have given that to the people here in Orlando for the last 50 years. You have instilled a great faith and a love for Jesus Christ and God. And above all, you have given the example and love. Now on a further note, now I can get a little more serious. You know, everybody wanted to get something about you and I decided to look up all the archives in the diocese. But you know, there was nothing but nice things. <laughs> so I decided to call some friends in Limerick <laughs> and get the real scoop. Now, there was an elderly gentleman before you were ordained. The day before you were ordained, he wrote this poem. And I think this tells us who John Bluth is. Now, it's a, a kind of very beautiful poem written in kind of native Irish style. And it simply says, The Priesting of Father John. They'll be priesting him tomorrow. Oh my, it's a strange world too. <laughs> For I mind the rascal that he was and the things he used to do. Man is the time I chased him when the strawberries were ripe. Though I own I never caught him, he was faster than a snipe. <laughs> he hit me with a snowball once, and that very same hand will be blessing me tomorrow. You know, it's hard to understand. Long Richard Philkin Malloch, he knew him far and wide. Tom the tailor nearly bet from hurrying on new suits. And there's powerful heavy buying on hats and shiny boots. The square is thick with buntings. Man, dear, there'll be a sight when the family from the seminary gets in tomorrow night. Monsignor Dan, God bless the man, will be fussing fit to burst, and the, the women will be pushing one another to get his blessings first. But can an our Monsignor, and I'd say this to his face, for all the bits of purple, he'll take second place. Sure, even if the bishop came, and he did, with that big mitre on, he wouldn't get the welcome that we'll give to our Father John. The pains are at me constant now. I seldom cross the door, but I am crossing it tomorrow if I never cross it more. Now quit your scolding, Julia, and saying I am not wise. Sure, the sight of him will ease my heart and gladden my old eyes. It won't be easy bending. I know the old knees will hurt, but I'll get down there in front of him in all the mud and dirt. And if I get a chance at all, I will whisper in his ear. Oh, I'll do it nice and easy so that no one else will hear. If anything should happen me before you go away, 
It is, not, it is no one but yourself I want to shrivel me for the clay. Monsignor mightn't like it, for he is still hale and strong, and I'm sure if he anointed me, he wouldn't do it wrong. But still I feel more contented if the hand that helped me go was that hand that threw the snowball many years ago. Mm -hmm. 